ライオンズ TV。Hey guys, let me introduce myself. My name is Ryo Ishida. I was born and raised in Japan. I'm a local Japanese food and travel full time YouTuber. Right now, it's on the way to go to Supermarket Life, which is a really popular chain supermarket in Japan. In this video, I will cook Osaka soul food Okonomiyaki and I will show you how to cook it and how much the ingredient costs in Japan. Also, there are frozen food of Okonomiyaki at 7 Eleven. So, I want to make a food review and compare with my local Okonomiyaki. Hey guys, welcome to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Senoko. So, today I'm gonna cook Okonomiyaki and I'm here at Life. So, this is one of the really popular supermarkets. <laughs> Sounds interesting, right? Well, compared to Super Tamade, Life has more expensive price, but this is a huge chain supermarket and then Life is Pretty much everywhere in Japan. So I believe if you ever lived in Japan, maybe you know. And also, I think compared to Super Tamade, more stuffs and the inside is much cleaner. You will see. So in this video, I'm gonna cook Okonomiyaki, which is a soul food of Osaka. So first, we need to buy ingredients. Let me show you guys how the Japanese supermarket looks like and how much it costs. So let's go to shopping at Life. Let's go. Right now, you will find a hand sanitizer at the entrance of a big supermarket in Japan. After washing your hands, you can enter the supermarket. As you can see, in big supermarket, usually all the items are really well organized. Yep, it looks super Japan, doesn't it? First, I need to find a cabbage. Where is cabbage? Oh, this is not. Where is it? Here we go. I think half size is enough for today. This one seems good, so let's get it. By the way, you can buy quarter size and also whole size as well. Next, let's buy meat. In Japan, you can buy from really small size as well, so it's really useful. I wanna put shrimp too. Where is shrimp? I found it. Oops, 400 Japanese yen? Uh, maybe next time. Okay, so let's use kimchi instead. <laughs> maybe it doesn't make sense, but it's okay. That's how the okonomiyaki works. Oh, this one's cheap, so let's get this. If we use kimchi, we need cheese too. So let's get this. Wow, this roast beef looks so good. But you know, today it's for okonomiyaki, so maybe next time. By the way, there is special flour for okonomiyaki. However, today I'm gonna use the regular flour so that you can cook even you don't find this. By the way, I found the ramen half boiled egg too, but I think mine is better. It's really simple to make. If you wanna know how to cook it, please check my other video. Wow, look at this. It looks so good. Yeah, let's get it. Alright, so let's check out. And next, let's go to 7 Eleven. So, I arrived to 7 Eleven now. Yes, they have cheaper okonomiyaki. However, I don't think they can beat my okonomiyaki. So, anyway, let's go to buy that. Here we go. This is the one. Wow, it's bigger than what I thought. So, this is 7 Eleven's Okonomiyaki. The price is only 250 Japanese yen. <laughs> well, it could be much cheaper compared to my Okonomiyaki, but of course, my Okonomiyaki will taste better, I believe. So, anyway, let's go home and compare. Let's go. Oh, by the way, before I go home, I need to pump the gas. So, let me show you how to pump the gas in Japan. You have to choose payment option, type of gas, and you have to place the money. After finish pumping the gas, you have to go get your change. Here we go. It's really simple, right? So let's go home.
All right, so first, let's cut the cabbage. I think half of them are enough. You can just randomly cut it in smaller size. Let me place this back into the fridge. Next, let's cut the pork. If you don't eat pork, don't worry about it. You can use seafood instead. Pork also, you can randomly cut it in smaller size. Next, let's make the base of okonomiyaki. This is a plain flour. It's supposed to be 100 grams, <laughs> but I usually don't measure it. Yep, this one seems like a 100 grams, so I think that's enough. And add an egg into it. Add one tablespoon of dashi. Plus 120 milliliter of water. And mix as fast as possible. And then place the cabbage and meat. Now you can add tenkasu if you want, but if you don't have it, don't worry about it. You don't have to. And it's time to add kimchi. Add the oil. And place it. And leave it for several minutes. Now you have to flip it. If you are making small okonomiyaki, it's fine. But if you are making big okonomiyaki, this is gonna be the hardest part. So this is how I usually do. Well, hopefully this time I can do well. Yes, I didn't break it. I'm so happy. And now it's time to add the cheese. By the way, I love cheese, so let's add the lot. And we need to let the cheese melt in, so let's use that lid. Hmm, it looks good. Now use okonomiyaki sauce and mayonnaise. If you have, Use the bonito flakes and dried green seaweed. And that's it. It's simple, isn't it? All right, it's ready. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> As you realize, yes, this okonomiyaki is huge. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you order the okonomiyaki, the okonomiyaki would be much smaller. But you know, I eat a lot. So usually I make this size for the okonomiyaki. So hold on. Before I eat this, today's beer. Ta -da! Today it's Ebisu. Let's drink. Kanpai. Saiko. So let's eat. Itadakimasu. You know what, this time I a little bit burn it, but it's okay, you know, it's still good. <laughs> Psycho. Mm. Speaking of okonomiyaki, I like regular okonomiyaki too. However, you know, okonomiyaki's taste can really change, depends on the person. And this is my favorite style. So some people place shrimp, some people place pink ginger, even some people place sausage too. Pretty much you can put anything, whatever you want. So that's why this pancake called okonomiyaki. In Japanese, okonomiyaki means a preference cook. 
<laughs> I wanna show how I can translate it. Okonomi means something you like, and the yaki means cook. You can place whatever you want and cook it. That's how the okonomiyaki works. So this is the popular Osaka food. I believe if you ask local Japanese what is the Osaka's popular food, you know probably people are gonna answer takoyaki or okonomiyaki. Yes, that's right. Okonomiyaki, really popular. So if you come over to Osaka, you gotta definitely try that. Mmm, taiko. So speaking of okonomiyaki, there is a really good restaurant. You know, it's a really popular chain restaurant, but you can only find it in west part of Japan. It tastes really good. You know, many people ask me where the best okonomiyaki restaurants. In that case, I had a really hard time to answer it because, you know, in my mind, Fugetsu is the best for me at least. But I know some people don't like the chain restaurant. So whenever I answer that question, I feel like like, well, can I answer Fugetsu because it's chain restaurant? So yeah, I kind of have hard time to answer that question. But if I can be honest with you guys, well, at least for me, you know, Fugetsu is the best. By the way, if you want to know how the Fugetsu restaurant looks like, I have made a video about it. So please check that video. You know, speaking of Fugetsu restaurant, compared to other Okonomiyaki restaurant, the price is a bit expensive. But uh, if it's expensive, it's really good. So maybe, you know, at least once you should try that if you come over to Osaka. Hmm, I think so. Speaking of okonomiyaki, back in the day when I was a kid, yeah, I still remember there is a really good local okonomiyaki restaurant. It's a really tiny restaurant owned by kind of old lady, but I really love their okonomiyaki. And they also the price is really cheap too. <laughs> maybe you can't believe that, but then, you know, this kind of big size okonomiyaki was only 250 Japanese yen. <laughs> yeah, I know it's incredibly cheap, but unfortunately the store was closed. Well, I think the owner gets too old and I believe they couldn't make a profit much, so you know, they closed it down. It was a really good local okonomiyaki restaurant though. Hmm. Well, it's kind of sad story, but uh, you know, that's how the time flies, right? There is uh, some good change, but there is some sad change too. <laughs> you know, this story makes me feel kind of old. <laughs> nah, you know, I'm a forever 21, so even I get the birthday in next month, I'm gonna be 21 again. <laughs> Kanpai. Oh, this will be my last bite. Mm. So from now, let's try 7-Eleven Okonomiyaki too. And let me compare if it's good or not. So let me get the 7-Eleven Okonomiyaki. So this is how it looks like. The price was 250 Japanese yen. It looks pretty good, huh? With 250 Japanese yen, we have a squid and shrimp. I can't believe that. But uh, anyway, let's see how it looks like inside. By the way, this is my first time to try this Okonomiyaki. So let's open it. Okay, so, oh, interesting. They translate the okonomiyaki as a savory pancake. Savory pancake? Hmm, I think that's a good translation. All right, so let me open this. What's inside? Interesting. So inside we have okonomiyaki, which is frozen. Yeah, it's like ice cream hard. <laughs> no, much harder than ice cream. Anyway, so there is a bonito flake and a seaweed powder and okonomiyaki sauce. So seems like I just need to place this to the microwave and then microwave it for seven minutes. Wow, it's really simple. So let me place it in the microwave. So hold on one second. All right, it's ready. So after seven minutes, let me place it on the dish. Hmm, by the way, this one smells pretty good. Yeah, smells like really savory pancake. Oh, <laughs> I see. That's why they name it savory pancake. Makes sense. Anyway, so it seems a bit small, but the one I cook was too big. Yeah, just remember this. Let me place the sauce. I add the mayonnaise too. Oh, 
Oh, nice. It's cute, Okonomiyaki. If this is my dinner, I think it's too small for me, but let me try that. Itadakimasu. Hmm, not bad. You know, thinking about the price and then we can make it really quick, I think it's pretty good. <laughs> of course, if I compare to the okonomiyaki I cook, my okonomiyaki was better, but uh, this one is a frozen food and then I can make it really quick, so I think it's not bad at all. Hmm. And yes, I found the shrimp. <laughs> yeah, don't forget, this one is only 250 Japanese yen. We have a shrimp, that's good enough. Nice, we have squid too. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Speaking of 7-Eleven in Japan, not only this okonomiyaki, savory pancake, there are many good foods in 7-Eleven. So maybe in the future, I'm going to make a 7-Eleven food tour video. Yeah, please look forward to it. Hmm. Yes, I have my dessert too. So let me make my conclusion with my dessert. So this is the dessert I got. It's a mochi matcha parfait. You know, I brought this back by motorbike, so you know, it kind of like squeezed it, but uh, it's okay. Still, the taste doesn't change. Itadakimasu. Let me start with this green tea. Mm. Ushu. You know, very rich matcha flavor, but taste is not too sweet. I like it. How about this jerry next to the matcha? Mmm. This matcha jerry is much sweeter compared to this matcha cream. So how about this mochi? Nice! It's not too sweet but really nice soybean flavor. Loving it! So speaking of okonomiyaki, well, there are price differences so we shouldn't compare. But I think my okonomiyaki won. Sorry if it doesn't make sense for you, but uh, thinking about the price and uh, it's a frozen food. Only 7 minutes microwave it and you can eat it. The taste is pretty good. Hmm. So next time when you come to Japan, you get hungry in the hotel or Airbnb. Yeah, probably you can try that okonomiyaki. Price is good and taste is good too. However, if it's your first okonomiyaki, probably you'd better try it in a restaurant. <laughs> oh, and if you go to the supermarket life, maybe you should try this one too. Well, compared to last time, I cook Ichiran intestine noodle. Okonomiyaki is much healthier. However, <laughs> I think it's not nutritious. So maybe in the next video, I should cook something nutritious. Nu nu nutritious. <laughs> yeah, something nutritious. So please look forward to it. All right, so this video pretty much that's it. Hope you guys could learn how to cook okonomiyaki and you could see how the 7-Eleven's okonomiyaki looks like. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on your notification so that you won't miss my new video and surprise live stream. Also, if you like the video, please share with your friend it will really help me to grow my channel. It will be more budget, more power, more videos. All right, so thank you so much for watching my video. See you in the next video. Arigato. So bye bye.